If children are the roses in our life, these celeb children liked to show their thorns. For celebrities, fame and money can often play against their own offspring. Tabloids are crammed with news about drug abuse, sex scandals, and drunk driving. Here is a list of famous parents who had problem kids. J.C. Chan Even though J.C. Chan followed in his father's footsteps and chose cinema, it seems that he lost track of the sensei guidelines. J.C., at the age of 32, was found guilty in Beijing's Dongsheng District Court for sheltering others to use drugs. Police seized more than 100 grams of marijuana during his apartment search. He faced the maximum sentence of three years. Jackie Chan was absolutely shocked at hearing the news, especially since the Hollywood legend was an anti-drug ambassador for China. Moreover, Jackie Chan supports the death penalty for drug offenses. He had to issue a public apology for his son's behavior. I would never think it happened to my family. I'm so shame, I'm so angry. Ever think you won't get addicted, because not only are you hurting yourself, young people remember not only are you hurting yourself, which is fine, but you need to know your one drug addiction will hurt your family. Chan has problems with his daughter as well. 19-year-old Etta Ng doesn't recognize Jackie as her real father. Chan and model Elaine Ng had an affair in 1998. Etta claims she doesn't need her father's presence in her life. She now declared herself homeless because of her homophobic parents. Etta lives with her girlfriend under a bridge because of the fear that they'll get separated in the shelter. She says none of her family or friends are willing to help her. We've been almost for a month due to homophobic parents. We pretty much slept under a bridge and other things. Etta, together with her girlfriend, issued a video telling her story that now has over 100,000 views. Nick Hogan the son of WWE star Hulk Hogan made his fearsome father nervous a lot. A horrible accident in 2007 saw Nick charged with reckless driving. On the way to a restaurant, he instigated a race with some friends. Nick, driving in a Supra, lost control and crashed, together with his friends, who were in Hulk's silver Dodge Viper. Both Nick and his best friend were delivered to hospital, but his friend suffered a serious debilitating brain injury. Nick was sentenced to eight months in Pinellas County Jail, but ended up serving only six. But the biggest nightmare for him is to be alive and well, knowing that his friend will require constant care for the rest of his life. He said in an interview, there's days when I can't even get out of bed. I was in the, in the middle of really, really going to the deepest depths of mental insanity being in solitary. Cleo Rose Elliott. 26-year-old daughter of Sam Elliott and Catherine Ross was allegedly reported to have stabbed her mother with scissors. Catherine claims that Cleo threatened to kill her. She grabbed the scissors and cut off the phone line when the 70-year-old actress was trying to call the police. Cleo jabbed Catherine at least six times in her arm. The judge issued a restraining order against Cleo, and she's now forced to stay at least 100 yards away from her mother. TMZ report that Catherine claims her daughter was physically violent and verbally abusive since she was 12. Chet Hanks The second son of actor Tom Hanks and actress Rita Wilson, Chet Hanks, has openly suffered from a strong drug addiction for a long time. In 2015, he checked into rehab, but he soon after got himself into trouble rear-ending a car in California. His parents were his co-defendants in the lawsuit against him and were blamed of irresponsibility. They technically owned the car and knew about his habits of driving under the influence. The victim claims Chet was under the influence of drugs and or alcohol when the accident happened. You know, as a parent, you love your kids unconditionally and you support them in every step of the way. Redmond O'Neill. Beloved Charlie's Angel, Farrah Fawcett, passed away and left her only son, Redmond, when he was a bit older than 20. Maybe his mother's death had such a strong effect on Redmond's life that he went off the track. Police reported that Redmond entered a store near Santa Monica, holding a knife and threatening the clerk to hand over the money from the register. He suffered from drug addiction throughout his adulthood. Redmond was ordered to join a one-year rehabilitation program after allegations of gun and heroin possession in 2011. He was also sentenced to three years in the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. But he doesn't want to abandon his old habits. His father, Ryan O'Neill, says his son never recovered from the loss of his mother. Bobby Christina Brown 
Bobby Christina Brown suffered the same tragic fate as her famous mother, Whitney Houston. Christina was caught doing what looked like cocaine on a video. Later in 2015, she was found unconscious in a bathtub. The cause of death is still undetermined, but it is suspected that there were drugs involved. The summary statement concluded, Toxicology report found marijuana, alcohol, a cocaine-related substance, a sedative, anti-anxiety medications, and morphine all in her body at one time. Death was clearly not due to natural causes, but the medical examiner has not been able to determine whether death was due to intentional or accidental causes. Eric Chase Bowling. Ex-News host Eric Bowling had to pick his wife up from the pavement, crying over the news of their son's death. Eric Chase Bowling died at the age of 19 of a drug overdose. His parents didn't see it coming and didn't believe he was an addict. Bowling said, My son was a very, very social high schooler. He liked to have fun. He was a normal kid. The coroner reported that Eric's body contained a mixture of cocaine, marijuana, Xanax, fentanyl, and cyclopropyl fentany, according to People magazine. We never saw it coming. We never thought this, we would get that call. Everyone, every parent doesn't want it, we got it. Sorry. Barbara and Jenna Bush. The twin daughters of George Bush, Barbara and Jenna Bush, were charged with underage drinking in 2001, when Bush just became the president of the United States. At that time, they were only 20, and the drinking age in Texas is 21. Jenna pleaded no contest against the allegations that she showed another person's ID to buy alcohol. Barbara was caught with possession of alcohol. Jenna was ordered to take alcohol counseling and perform community service. Theodora Richard. A young model and the daughter of Rolling Stones guitarist Keith Richards, Theodora, was in rehab a couple of years ago. The rock and roll lifestyle was probably passed on from her father. Theodora, who once posed for Burberry and Tommy Hilfiger, spent a month in rehab for drug abuse. The nurses recall she never told other patients who her father was and spent all her time submerged in her notebook. Cameron Douglas. Cameron Douglas comes from a famous clan of actors. He is the son of Michael Douglas and the grandchild of Kirk Douglas. He has been arrested for drug offenses three times. Cameron was sentenced to five years in prison for selling methamphetamines in an elite Manhattan hotel. It broke my heart, I think, in combination when, um, when he was sentenced. To, I knew the amount of time he was going to be spending in federal prison, combined with uh, my early cancer at the same time. That was a, a one-two shot. Thing. He repeatedly violated jail orders and even arranged with his lawyer to smuggle drugs into prison. Cameron was ordered two years in solitary confinement and his sentence was doubled. He was released at the age of 34 and looked great in photos, taking his pet for a walk and walking with his pregnant girlfriend. Michael Douglas is now the grandfather of a baby girl, Lua, Christian Brando. The son of the Godfather star, Marlon Brando, was sentenced to six years in prison in 1990 when he was 32. Christian Brando was charged with manslaughter after killing his sister's boyfriend. His sister reported that her lover was abusive and Christian shot him on Marlon's Mulholland Drive estate. Later, in 2005, Christian's ex-wife charged him with domestic abuse. He died of pneumonia at the age of 50. Patty Davis. Born Patricia Ann Reagan, Patty Davis was nothing like her super conservative father, Ronald Reagan. She even changed her name to pursue an independent career. With her hippie persona, she didn't much fit into her mother's anti-drug war. Patty went against both of her parents and wrote a tell-all book about the Reagan family. She took an active part in anti-nuclear protests, which caused a lot of disputes since Reagan was in control of nuclear codes at the time. And in 1994, she posed nude for Playboy magazine. John Carter Cash. As they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Carter Cash, in all respects, is very much like his father. Firstly, following in the footsteps of his legendary dad, Johnny Cash, Carter is also a country singer. Johnny Cash left his son $100 million, while his daughter inherited only the measly crumbs from his net worth. Secondly, we can call him an outlaw as well. 
Cash got arrested in Newfoundland in 2014. It was a funny situation, although the circumstances are still not clear. Carter was traveling back to the US after a hunting excursion when he decided to undress in the airport, leaving just his underwear. He was 44 when he was arrested, but didn't face charges. Witnesses reported a man being drunk or having medical issues in the airport. The security reported that they managed to convince him to put his clothes back on by the time the constables arrived. Do you think the children of celebrities suffer from their parents' status? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Click on the AWSA awesome icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel.